Mario has famous real-life paintings, and today he enters every painting so that you can see where they each go. First, Mario will go into the famous Mona Lisa painting, and that brings him to these forgotten ruins. Mario runs along to this small staircase that is right ahead of him. He jumps up here, he ground pounds on the shiny spot that he finds, and he gets a coin. Up ahead, there's a Dry Bones and a Goomba, and Mario has to check every shiny spot in case there's a Power Moon hidden there. And this Dry Bones gets to feel a Goomba stall. This shiny spot by the tree is also just a coin, and Mario runs down this slope to find a tiny tent set up here. What could be inside this bouncy, bouncy tent? Mario throws Cappy at it, Cappy spins, and a power moon appears for Mario. Mario decides to bring his Goomba down, and as he walks along, he finds a Goomba switch. So it looks like he'll need a little Goomba tower to activate this button here and get the reward. Right up ahead is a second Goomba, so Mario only needs one more Goomba now to activate that button. There are some mummies appearing and chasing after Mario, and Mario starts to make his way up here to look for the final Goomba, and he's also keeping his eyes open for shiny spots that might have power moon. Mario can go across to the right there with the flying dry bones, but he decides to check the path on the left first. There's a shiny spot here, a Goomba, and a treasure chest in the distance. So Mario is finding a lot of useful stuff around here. Mario opens the chest, and inside is a max up heart that increases his maximum health. And then Mario takes this Goomba and brings it back to the two previous Goombas. And these Goombas can stomp through mummies like they are nothing. When Mario activates the three Goomba button, he gets another Power Moon as a reward. You might have noticed these Bowser statues here, and Mario can actually capture them and move them over. And this one revealed a hidden shiny spot, and when Mario checked that, it had a heart. There's another Bowser statue over here, a lot of enemies that are chasing Mario, and it's funny that even when Mario enters the statue and starts to move it, the enemies are still chasing after Mario like crazy. In this shiny spot, after moving over this Bowser statue, Mario gets a Power Moon as a reward. Mario still hasn't checked one area, so he tries to climb up here, but right as he's about to get up, the dry bones hits him and knocks him back down to the buggies. So Mario finally does get up here, he captures the dry bones, and he flies across through these coin rings, collecting a lot of coins, and up here on this shiny spot is the next power moon for Mario. Next up, Mario decides to go into the screen painting over here. And that brings Mario to right over here, an area with lots of lava, rotating blocks in the background, and a scarecrow, so it looks like this might be a very fast-paced level, so let's go! Mario runs down here, there's a Goomba over here getting ready to stop him, some stuff moving around over here, Go! Be careful, Mario! Oh my goodness, okay, and he makes it up here. He's got some Goombas that want to come towards him, some rotating platforms this way, they're rotating this way now. Let's see, these platforms are now rotating this way, and Mario easily makes it to over here, and it looks like we see a shadow over here, and there's the outline of an invisible block here, so Mario uses that invisible block to get to the power build. So let's continue on down this way. It looks like this house is now rotating this way. I really like that the houses from the Desert Kingdom were used here. Oh, and jump past the moon, but grab it now and get the final one. There we go. Mario managed to collect all of the moons in time. So Mario can hopefully throw his cappy at that rocket ship right there and we will fly away through the lava. So there are three paintings left now for Mario and he will choose this one over here, the one with this guy that has an apple in front of his face. And you guys could let me know in a comment how many of these paintings you've seen before. And that brings us to the Metro Kingdom, except there's something slightly different happening over here. First of all, there's a taxi driver that is honking at us. But meanwhile, we just wanted to save this egg with Yoshi here. No, don't hit Yoshi. So we can capture Yoshi and now we can move around as Yoshi. And what Yoshi wants to do, of course, is eat these apples that are over here. And not only does he want to eat these apples, but he also wants to eat these people. And some of these people look very terrified. And the look on this man's face, it makes it look like he's saying, Bleh! why are you licking me, Yoshi? And some other people in the background, they look like they do not approve of this. This guy looks like he is going, huh, I've got a bigger tongue than that. And you absolutely have to see this. I actually did this by accident, and here was my live reaction. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> if you leave Yoshi on the car, then the taxi, it just drives with Yoshi on top of the taxi like that. That is so funny. Oh my goodness. 
Yep, she's going for a wild ride. Look at them dance. Something that I'll have to do in an upcoming video sometime is create a parade of Yoshis on taxis like this. I love doing random stuff like this in videos, and it's awesome that people enjoy these videos. So I just want to say thank you, and let's get back to the video. Mario decides to go into this painting next, the second last painting, and something really cool about this one is that the wave actually looks like a claw. But Mario ends up on this beautiful, beautiful island over here with these little fuzzy guys running towards him over here. Stay back, guys. So we can see that there's a very nice toad house for us up there. So let's follow this path up to there. And you know what this stage reminds me of so much? This stage, this is another stage. This is made by our good friend, Jeff the Cupcake. This stage reminds me so much of The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, one of my favorite Zelda games ever. Okay, but at the toad house, it looks like we need a key to unlock this. Let's get on top of this mushroom house so that we can have a whole view of the island and maybe we can get a better idea of where the key might be. Because there definitely is some more exploring that we can do. So Mario is wondering, where could that key possibly be? We came from that half of the island. So let's drop down here and explore around here. It doesn't look like there's a key nearby for Mario, but there is this locked section over here. So if there was any way that we could get through here, if there's maybe a tank or some kind of way that we could explode our way through there, then maybe we'd be able to get through. But you might be surprised that we already have seen the answer in this video. If you know what we have to do to get through there, let me know in a comment what we have to do is use that hammer bro in the distance over there. So Mario makes his way across these little islands by the shore over here, captures the hammer bro, and you have to be careful to not fall into the water. And what we have to do is be very, very careful to not fall into the water, because if you fall into the water, then you lose him. Which is a lot easier said than done. Whoop, like this. This is gonna be a very tricky jump. Oh boy, and there we go. Finally, we made it across, very nice. And there's actually one little corner of the island that we didn't check yet, so let me show you what happens if we head over here. We also could have gone to the other side to get here, but let me show you what happens if we go here. And if we go around this corner over here, then back here, there's also a way through over here, and there's the key that we needed, and now we can just smash our way through here to this side of the island that we were on, and we can just pop out here, do wall jumps to climb up here very nicely, and now we can head to the house and get the shine. And now there is only one painting left for Mario to go into, Starry Night by Van Gogh. And that brings him to a nighttime version of the Toad Forest Kingdom. Since it is nighttime, it's time for Mario to rest. Shh. I really recommend you check out my video where Mario explores the entire Toad Forest Kingdom. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day ahead of you. And take care, everybody.